Hello once again my friends, this is A Waste of Popcorn and this is Big Glass and I'm reviewing Friday the 13th, 1 through 4 and I'll tell you why, I was watching Cisco and Ebert back in the day, they panned the hell out of this movie they didn't like 1, they didn't like 2, they didn't like 3, they didn't like 4 they said it was a bunch of trash, it was garbage, it was no hope for the future for these teenagers. It's just some guy in a hockey mask going around murdering and killing people. And they never took the time to tell the story. The story takes place with Pamela Voorhees, who got pregnant in the 1950s that was against the principal belief of evangelical Christians and at the time Presbyterians or whatever the hell it was she said out of her mouth or when she read the script it was an angelical Christian um, background that you know that didn't take uh, getting pregnant without being in in a marriage uh, lightly so she moved away and with her and her deformed child uh, Jason was a mongoloid which uh, the person who did the makeup and created the story for him said so he was a mongoloid he was deformed and he was retarded and she got a job at Camp Crystal Lake by the Christies Jason and her had the mother son bond it, it, it was all he had and she and he was all she had and she was all he had and at that time, if you ever watched the interview with Geraldo Rivera uh, inside the hospitals where they kept the uh, physically challenged and retarded children and they put them in cages and they were sleeping and sitting in their own feces, they were beaten, they were half fed, they just under the conditions of horribility during the 70s. So we see how this... Uh, a story developed and then in 1980 they tried to open the camp back up oh well I, I, I skipped a big part uh, going back uh, Jason drowned presumably drowned when he was eight because the campers didn't pay him no attention because he was retarded and he was deformed that was that was it the mother went crazy and she killed two of the campers. They shut the camp down in 1962 and tried to open it back up in 1980. And when they tried to open the camp back up in 1980, she took her revenge. And the whole kill, 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 kill them, mommy, became the chant. Kill, 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 mommy, mommy. And... She went on a killing spree and she killed and you saw Jason pop up at the end of the film. And then in part two, Jason was the killer. He didn't have the hockey mask. He had a pillowcase over his head. In part three, there was a jokester named Shelly. Shelly had the ski mask. Jason killed Shelly and took the ski mask and that the hockey mask became Jason's thing. And then he lost it in part four. It was called the final chapter because Tommy put a machete through Jason's skull and ended the series. Now, Paramount ended the series and Paramount tore down the lot and they sold the rights to New Line Cinema. New Line Cinema had Jason in the grave with his head cut into many pieces get struck by lightning and come back as a Frankenstein monster.